All right, guys, enter the stars, and we're going to call this part three, Metallica. Now, if there's any doubts about the tribe of Dan and the links to Metallica, I think that we've pretty much established that this is the case, and we have another piece of information that kind of seals the deal. And I thank you to the subscribers who come forward and share information, because this is what this channel is all about. It's all of you putting together the information, and all I simply do is repeat it back to you, being led by the Holy Spirit, of course, and then we seek truth together. Now, of course, the tribe of Dan, the two symbols that are used for the tribe of Dan are the serpent and the scales. This is straight out of Wikipedia. And with Metallica, we have the serpent and we have the scales. Serpent on the Black Album, scales. Tribe of Dan, scales, and serpent. Now, we also established the number eight it seems to be the, the number of the tribe of Dan. When we look at Denver, or Danver, all the zip codes in Denver fall under number eight, as seen here. Now, if you had any questions about the number eight, I think that this might answer them. The Church of Satan. Zena was the spokeswoman and high priestess with the Church of Satan during the 1980s. During this period, she appeared on television and radio broadcasts, in part to educate about the Church, and in part to debunk the mythology surrounding the Satanic Panic, a period of time in the same era in which Satanism was blamed for the actions of Satanic ritual abuse. Now, Zena was in charge of a rally, the first major rally of the Church of Satan in San Francisco on the date of, take a wild guess, 8-8-1988, a large gathering converged on the Strand Theater in San Francisco for the film debut of a mockumentary about Charles Manson. The event planned and carried out by Zena's husband, Nicholas Schreck, was the largest single gathering of this kind in history. Zena spoke at the beginning of the rally, and a film of her baptism was played. In 2011, an interview with Zena for French Music Magazine, Obscure, she stated that 8888 would be the only performance that Nicholas, the original percussionist, Evil Wilhelm, and I ever performed live together. That marked the transition point spanning three phases of Radio Werewolf. I'm not quite sure about the history of what they're talking about here. Geraldo Rivera's devil worship exposing Satan's under, uh, underground film crew have filmed the event as well as interviews with all involved to use for the network special. So, if you don't want to acknowledge the number 88, you can bet that the evil in this world is acknowledging it. If you deny it or pretend like it doesn't exist, it then has power over you. Take care and be safe, you guys.